Hey folks, Aaron here. Welcome to another Blades Advice Corner. I have not done one of these in ages, to be honest with you. Um, but as I always say with these, these aren't meant to be weekly or monthly or whatever. They're meant to be something that either something happened in my life, my friend's life, or a family member, whatever. And it's supposed to spark a thing for me to give you guys advice for them. So either to learn something from it or to take something from it and see the world in a different light for a second. You know, with anything of my advice corners, I always tell you guys that this is my words. These are my opinions on things too. So equally, if you can't find a semblance of something to understand from it, then maybe it's not for you. But maybe you can also find a little piece of information from something I say or something I do or whatever on these things and go, huh, that makes sense. And maybe you apply it to your life. And if that works for you, then I did my job. And I've known for a few of these that if they have helped people in the past with other things, and I'm happy about that. So that's the point of them. Now, you know, I, I think the, the thing I want to learn the most, and it's something that even besides my own life, I've heard other people talk about recently, is apologizing people. You know, one of the most often used phrases in the world is, I'm sorry, or I apologize. It's one of the most commonly used things. No matter what language it is, it's used. And it can happen from anything. You Maybe you, you know, kind of hit one of your friends by accident, like at the store, you were walking, you just slammed it to them by accident. Or maybe you failed to get something at a store you were supposed to get and, you, you know, someone, maybe your parents or something relied on you getting that, whatever. Or maybe you got into an argument with a good friend. You know, you typically will say, I'm sorry, or they will say, I'm sorry for whatever. And it has so much more meaning to it. Like, there's so many nuances to I'm sorry or I apologize. Because it's a pair of, pairing of words that it has the thing of redemption to it. You're supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to hope that you saying that to someone will make them go, you're forgiven. You know, you're, it's okay, no worries. But equally, it's a, it's a pairing of words that have a hollow emotion to them often. There's a lot of times when people say, I'm sorry or I apologize and have no understanding of why they're actually saying it. They just do it because it's instructive. It goes to your head like that. It's like, I'll let me apologize. I'm sorry. You know, I, I messed up with this. I'm sorry. But why are you sorry? What did you do? What did you accomplish that made you have to even say that in the first place? You know, uh, I think I talked to one of my friends about this way back when, but, you know, one of his least favorite words is I'm sorry because he goes, it's a waste of time for me and for, and for the other person. And I used to always think that was kind of harsh. But I understand what he means because I'm sorry often isn't isn't meant to be the way it's supposed to be. It's often a thing of a crutch to, for people to go, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I'm sorry. But actions are something that speak louder than words sometimes. Don't get me wrong, words are very powerful, people. I mean, I've talked about that many times. As a writer myself, I understand that better than most is that words have a strength to them. They have an essence to them. You know, you can say something to someone to make their day great, and you can say something to make someone's day horrible. That's how easy words can affect someone. And that's why with I'm sorry, it does often have power because it's typically something that's meant to be like, oh, they mean they're sorry because they knew they messed up. But for some people, for some actions, I'm sorry has no strength in words. It has to be proven. And how do you do that, you might ask? How do I prove I'm sorry about something? Very simple, folks. There are several methods that I'm going to give you guys advice on. And some of you might be going, oh, come on. I know how to say I'm sorry to people. Do you really? We're going to talk about this. See if you're right about this. Number one, apologies are meant to be things that you understand what you did wrong. You are reflecting on something you did wrong. So when you say you're sorry for maybe picking up a brother or sister's glass vase, I don't know why they have a glass vase, but just stick with me on this. It's probably the easiest example I can give you. You know, it's their favorite class boss. They love it. They, you know, they, they bought it at a store. It's so rare. It's beautiful, etc. You pick it up and they always tell you, hey, be ginger with it. Don't hold it a certain way. You don't do that one day. You pick it up and you, you're like, oh my God, and drop it on the floor and it breaks into a million pieces. Your first things are be like, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, brother or sister or whatever. But why are you sorry? Are you sorry because your actions that you they told you about before now finally have hit this thing where it's like, they told me to be careful with it and I didn't listen. I messed up. Yes, that's why you're sorry. But you have to understand the meaning behind it. You have to understand that I did this because I was not being ginger with something when my brother or sister told me to be ginger with it. You know, maybe, for example, um, you, you know, your parents told you, hey, walk your dog. You make sure you're walking your, your pet because, you, you know, it's always going to the bathroom of the house because you're not walking it enough. And you go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll do it later. Yep, I promise I'll walk more. Do you really? 
often most people will not do it. They they go they oh crap it, it crapped in the house again or peed in the carpet or whatever, and then your mom or dad yell at you again and ground you or whatever. The problem with that is because it's not you're not learning from your apology. You're saying it hoping that you get away with it, but you're not learning. And that's something that I understand better than most because it's something that I think I'm experiencing more recently with something that happened. But even more so than that, it's something that I see from people and I understand that they don't understand what I'm sorry means. You, you have to actually put actions towards it. You have to prove that you're sorry. To do that is very simple. Don't do it again. That's the first and foremost thing. To actually make up and understand what you did wrong and to say, listen, I'm sorry for being you know, rough with this item. I'm sorry for not walking the dog more often. It's very simple than that. It's very, very simple. But people don't do that. People just say, I'm sorry because it's the crutch. It's like, I can just say it, I'll be forgiven, done. All is forgiven, I'm, I'm saved. Are you not, really? Now, number two with this advice is that apologies take time. A true incident happens and saying apologies or, or doing or showing right away that I won't do it again, just like with the vase or just well, like walking the dog, it's gonna take time to prove that you're really sorry that you learned from your mistake. And you have to do it. You have to work on it. You have to go, okay, okay. I know what I did was wrong. Let me make sure that I don't do it again and show that. And here's the thing is that people forget that maybe they don't, you don't notice it, but people are noticing your actions. They're, your parents are noticing that, hey, he's walking the dog again on time. Or, hey, you know, you're picking up an item that I told you to be careful with and you're picking up more gingerly and you're, you're, or you're not touching at all because you shouldn't be touching his, his person, you know, his or her item. They notice that. And it, you, it might not notice, like you might not notice it right away, but they're reflecting on that. They're going, he's, he's, he or she's learned. You know, like maybe say, let's let's just put an argument, for example. Maybe you got into an argument with one of your best friends because you got heated up, you know. And it, listen, it happens. All friends argue. They're all friends that argue. But they have those moments where it's like, dude, I'm so pissed off at you. Or, you know, I can't believe you said that to me. What? How dare you? You get pissed off. You get heated up. You let your emotions flow. That's normal, it's human. We all do that. But if you keep doing it and you keep apologizing after, does that mean you're really learning? You're not. You're just apologizing because it's quick. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I let my emotions get to me again. I'm so sorry. No. What you do is you go, well, I, I'm, I feel myself getting pissed off at this. Let me back off. Let me recompose myself. And there you go. That's not. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's easier said than done. I know, with, with getting away from arguments and stuff like that, it's something even I have problems with where, you know, some people say really stupid crap and they mean it as jokes or something like that and I don't take it that way or it just annoys me and I'm like, oh, like I want to get, get riled up. I want to get into that fight mode where it's like I want to argue now. I wanna, you know, not fight like physically. I mean like fight in terms of verbals because I, I can do that. I can be like, you know, what you said was stupid. You know, I, I can do all of that. But is it right? I claim that I'm sorry for getting so riled up before, but then I do it again. You you didn't learn. Apologies, folks, and this is really the, old, the, the brunt of this week's uh, thing of uh, Vice Corner, or this week, I, should, I keep saying this week's in my mind, but it's like, it's not it's not a weekly thing I said before. Apologizing has to be something that takes time. It needs to have emphasis behind it, it needs to have wording behind it, it needs to be action-packed and filled. And it's like, what do you mean by action-packed? I mean the sense that you need to keep proving that you're really sorry for something. And at one point, you won't need to prove it anymore because it's done. You know, there are some things that you could say I'm sorry for and that's it. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk. I'm sorry for forgetting the milk at store, the store today. I'm sorry for not walking the dog in time. Hey, if something you don't do all the time, you don't need to keep apologizing. One apology should be good enough. That's it. For a person that's normal, they'll be like, oh, okay, no worries. You know, for a good friend that listens to you and knows you, if you make a mistake, they're going to be like, yeah, they're going to be cross with you. They might be very angry with you. But eventually, as time goes by, they'll be like, yeah, you know what? We know him better than this, or we know her better than that. And we'll forgive them, because like that's what true friends do. They make they forgive people for stupid crap. But you still have to prove that you're really honestly sorry about something. And to do that is so hard to do sometimes, because you, you're going to always want to go and just say the easy way of like, I'm sorry, I messed up, I'm sorry. But it's not enough. You got to go beyond, beyond. So my advice for you guys and girls... When you say I'm sorry next time, before you just say it, be ready to understand why did I say I'm sorry? What do I what am I apologizing for? So say for example you get into another argument with a friend and you got really pissed off at them for something that should not have been pissed off. It's like, well, why did I get so pissed off? What you gotta do 
is you before you start arguing all that, you're gonna be like this. Think about, think like, mm, what did I do? I got, I maybe I said something mean to him. Maybe I said something wrong to him. Whatever, it could be her. Whatever. It doesn't just saying him just for easy reference behind it. You say I'm sorry and be like, I'm sorry for saying this in such a context. Or, I'm far, sorry for being so mean about this. Or I'm sorry for saying that. And I guarantee you guys and girls, you will have an emphasis behind your apologies that you did not see before. And you will have actions and you people will forgive you because they realize that there's more to you. Folks, you know, I know it's tough. I know. Trust me. Apologizing, it's, it's hard. And to see your apologies sometimes get nowhere, it's even harder. But that's the beauty of apologies is if you're really honest about it you'll keep fighting for it you'll fight for the things you love you'll fight for the things you wish to prove to people that's why i believe at least anyways guys and girls i hope you enjoy this advice corner i hope you got something out of it please let me know in the comments below if it did help you out in any form um i also will always obviously listen you guys need me for anything on twitter feel free to follow me on, on uh, twitter and also dm me if you need to talk to me i'm always available i might not be able to respond right away but i will respond when i can that's something i always want to convey to you guys i'm free to listen to your problems i'm free to take your uh, to you know help you out with advice if you can't do it on twitter feel free to put in the comments below something you need advice on and i'll think about doing a video on it when i can it's whatever you want guys i will talk to you guys uh, later everyone god bless you all have a great day bye bye everyone